Hi there! In today's video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about circles to conquer the SAT math section. Let's first go over some commonly used terms about circles, and the first one is the center. Now the center is pretty self-explanatory, but it's the point that's in the middle of the circle. Now if you take a line that stretches from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, you get the radius. And if you multiply the radius by 2, you get the diameter. And the diameter is the line that cuts the circle perfectly in half. Now that we've gone over the terms that you need to know, let's get into some of the equations that you need to know. And we'll start off with the circumference. Now think of the circumference as the perimeter of the circle, and it's calculated by taking the diameter, or as you recall, 2 times the radius, and multiplying that by pi. Now pi is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to the diameter, and it's approximately equal to 3.14, meaning that your circumference is about 3.14 times your diameter, or 2 pi r. Next up, we got the area of the circle. Now to calculate the area, you're going to take your radius, square it, and then multiply it by pi, or pi r squared. Now, it's nice to have the circumference equation and the area equation memorized, but if you can't memorize it, no big deal because it will be on your SAT formula sheet. Next up, let's go over arcs. An arc is just a section of a circumference. So if you're thinking of a circle kind of like a pie, think of an arc like a piece of the crust. So if the question is in terms of degrees, the length of the arc is going to be 2 pi r times x over 360 degrees. In this context, x is the degree of the given angle and r is the radius. Now we got the area of a sector. If we're continuing with our little pi analogy, a sector is like a piece of the pi. It's a slice of the circle based on an angle. So if the equation we're working with is in degrees, it's going to be pi r squared times x over 360 degrees. The last two equations work if the problem we're working with is in degrees. And on the SAT, the most common measurement of angles will be in degrees, but sometimes it's measured in what's known as radians. A radian is a unit of measurement for angles whose arc length is equal to the radius. You'll see what I mean in a moment. You can also convert between degrees and radians, where 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So that means 1 radian is equal to 180 over pi. 1 radian is an angle whose corresponding arc length is as long as the radius of the circle. So this means that the length of any arc in the circle is going to be x in radians times the radius. Similarly, the area of a circle equation is going to be slightly manipulated to achieve the area of a sector equation. Now when you're working in radians, the area of a sector is going to be 1 half pi r squared times the angle. The last major concept you need to know with circles is the equation of a circle. We've talked about the circumference, the area, and sectors, and all that, but we haven't talked about how to graph a circle. So the general equation of a circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared, and you're going to set that equal to the radius squared. Now you're probably wondering what the a and b refer to, and these are constants that you can use to translate the circle up and down and side to side. But remember, when you're manipulating circles, it's going to be translated in the opposite direction that you'd usually assume. So if you're trying to translate left, you're going to have x plus a constant. If you're trying to go right, you're going to have x minus a constant. If you're trying to go down, you're going to have y plus a constant. And finally, if you're trying to go up, you're going to have y minus a constant. Let's help visualize this. All right, so starting off here, we got x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared, and we have that equal to 9. And you'll see here that the center of the circle is translated 1, 2, 3 units to the left, and it's translated 1, 2 units up from the origin. Now, in regards to that 9, based on the equation, it should be the radius squared. And that checks out because 1, 2, 3, the radius is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So let's change it up a little bit. We got x minus 1, and we'll change it here to y plus 2, and let's set that equal to 25. Now we can count our radius as 5 units, and the circle is translated 1 unit to the right and 1, 2 units down. Alright, that's everything you need to know about circles to conquer the SAT math section. 
Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you learned something new and are ready to kill it on the SAT. For more practice problems and access to a 24-7 online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning educational tech platform that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one-week free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and happy studying!